echoing off the walls, the students and staff at Morris Elementary dance to the beat of a djembe drum. Hello, I'm Carolee Allen for Channel 12. A special guest artist brought her djembes, didgeridoo, and dune dunes to teach the kids about African drumming. But polyrhythms and some tribal moves aren't the only things kids dance away with from her program. We had a visiting artist by the name of Fonzaba Coster, who is an African drummer, specializes in African rhythms. She spent six weeks in Africa learning from her mentor, um, Madhu, and came and visited our school for the last three days. She's been here Wednesday, uh, Thursday, and Friday, worked with all the children first through fifth grades during their music time and all the children prepared um, oh we came up with two three four different rhythms and put them all together and made some African polyrhythms I am a rostered artist with the Iowa Illinois and Missouri Arts Councils I make my living going around to schools teaching kids about African drumming and African culture I specifically play the djembe, which is a drum that comes from two tribal or ethnic groups in Africa, the Bambara people who live in southern Mali and the Malinke who live in northern Guinea. They're the ones who, uh, you could say, invented the djembe. And um, I have studied with many of them. And um, for the last eight years, I've been making my living going around to schools. I have 30 djembes that I bring with me to schools, plus a set of doom dooms, which are the drums that are played with the sticks and the bells. And um, <clears throat> three years ago, I went to Africa and lived with a family of drummers and drummed with them at three to five African weddings for a week. And I made a documentary video about that as well. So when I go to schools, before I go, I send the documentary video, all the kids watch it in their classes then when they meet with me I take about 10 minutes and I answer questions and it, the video gives them a really good understanding of what it's like living with a poor African family that has no sink no shower no toilet they're cooking on a fire I lived like that for about two months so they see all of that in the video and then the second half of the video is all about drumming at the wedding so, so it gives them a good cultural background before I get here then when they meet with me, we spend about 10 minutes answering questions about Africa, and then we have about 30 minutes to drum where I teach them how to drum. Uh, and then if I stay at a school for a couple of days like I did here, then I have a core group, which in this case was the three fifth grades. I met with them s several times, and then they worked up a show with me, which we did at the end of the day. And what a show it was. The core groups of fifth graders each performed with Fonzba in front of the entire school. But the rest of the kids weren't just a passive audience. Fonzba taught them dances, pan motions, and even an African call and response song. And while everyone had a whole lot of fun, the reasons for the event went beyond just having a good time. That the children would have exposure to multicultural um, parts of the world that they don't normally have. Um, we do have some populations from, from Africa. We have a child from um, Sudan, from the Ivory Coast, and we also have many African Americans here. So we wanted to expose them to different cultures. Well, for one thing, uh, drumming is something that almost any kid can do. And it's a great way for kids to be part of a musical experience because basically it's like a drum orchestra. And so a lot of kids who maybe would not excel in sports or music can come and do this and, and uh, very quickly, as you saw, the kids who just performed, they only met with me twice and then we perform. So very quickly they can learn something and do it. So it gives them a good sense of self-confidence and achievement. It gives them a great sense of team building because they have to work together and focus on one part while another group is playing another part. Secondly, it's just lots of fun. The kids just love it. I think every school should have a set of drums, frankly, in their elementary schools, I mean. And the other thing is I really want to help uh, kids have a better understanding of other cultures and why other cultures do the things they do. And also I'm trying to give kids a way to look at our own culture 
through the eyes of other people. So in the question and answers, we get into a lot of nitty gritty about how Africans do things differently and how do we feel about that. And then we explain why they do it that way and then we talk about how Africans might look at how we do things and might think that things that we do are kind of strange. And we just talk about cultural understanding. So that's kind of what I'm all about. The three-day residency brought together concepts from many academic areas, from music and social studies to physical education and arts. Many students designed their own bandanas in art class that they then wore during their performance. And while the experience was packed with fun and learning for the kids, the teachers also didn't miss a beat. The event was made possible at Morris through grants and funding provided by the Des Moines Metro Arts Alliance, the Iowa Arts Council, and the Morris School PTA. For more information about Fonzaba and how you can bring her and her djembes to your school, visit our website at www.channel12online.org. For Channel 12, I'm Carolee Allen.